have seen me painting on watercolor block for plain air, such as Go Bike, Go Paint. What do I do here in my studio? As you can see, I have definitely used this foam board. All of these shiny bits here are from me taping it. So I don't recommend taping on a foam board, but I do recommend stapling. And this is the way that I have been doing it since I was 12, because I believe I did about one year study in drawing and then we got into painting. Using the foam board and staple method, I have made pieces such as this. By the way, this was back in 2003. When it comes to paper that is 300 pounds or above, using tape is totally fine. But if you're going to be using paper that's 150 pounds, then that's where I really recommend using the staple on foam board method. It's the easiest way. I do intend to prove that it's not just because I've been doing it a long time. So I'm not going to be the one to do this. My daughter will. Welcome back to painting. Welcome back to paintings by Kalipi. It's it's Penelope. It's me. Now you've been wanting to make videos with me for a long time, haven't you? Yes. My original intent was to keep my kids completely off of my YouTube channel. It's kind of impossible to get around that, as you've probably already seen them in a few of my videos, just making little cameos here and there. And Kalipi is very interested in art, just as I was when I was younger. So it's time to get her on this same path. She will take this actually quite strong 300 pound paper and she's going to learn how to soak and stretch it. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. You need a clean bathtub to do this because this is high quality paper. You don't want any acid or oh. oils or anything like that. Okay. Or dirt. Okay, so now you can use just cold water to fill it up Open a little bit. Down. You've got a good amount in there, not too much. So go ahead and put that in the water. You don't want to drop it in, you just want to put it in and then kind of force it down a little bit because that's some tough paper. Well, not all the way down. <laughs> put it down a little bit so that it gets water on top of it. Now we're going to leave it there for 10 minutes. Okay, so you take this in there when it's time to retrieve the paper. You're going to pick the paper up and you're going to let it drip dry as much as possible and lay it flat here. Smooth it out, go from the middle out. Try to stretch the paper. It's already kind of gotten relaxed because it's soaked up all that water and you can stretch it. You don't want to rub it super hard because yeah. then you're going to shred the paper. Okay. But you do want to spread it. You're going to take the stapler, you're going to take it to the yeah, edge and just a little bit in. Okay, you're going to smash it down. Bang! And you're going to put a staple in. You can see all these holes right here. Mm -hmm. That's where I have smashed in paper. Pound it. <laughs> it's just like fun in a kind of like pounding way that kind of hurts your fist sometimes. Yeah. Ah. Nope. Hiya! Force! You know, it's like, yeah. You force that. The horse of a woman. Yes. Nice. Oops. That one didn't work so well. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I thought it was a good one. Me too. There you go. I'm getting tough. Hiya! Why don't you tell me what you thought about that whole process? Fun smashing! It was fun in a kind of like hurtful way. I do remember this kind of being a little hard on the that part of the hand too. This is how you mitigate how much your paper is going to buckle. It's still going to happen, I found, with 150 pound paper. You're still going to get that buckling and that wave. Can I have that spot actually? <laughs> Overall, it's going to come out really well. I don't know what happened to my painting, but it, the, the painting that I did in 2003 did flatten out pretty well. I'm going to let Kalipi paint on the paper that she has just stretched while it is still wet. We'll see if that makes it too fragile in the end, but seeing as how this is not 150 pound paper, but better paper than that, I have a feeling that it's going to be okay. When I was my daughter's age, I didn't have access to watercolor paper. I don't remember doing anything other than pencil sketches and crayon coloring for a long time. One day I found poster board and cheap watercolors in the house. Since I didn't know any better, I thought that it could work. The struggle was insane, but I did manage to create a poor looking deer in a meadow. My mom came over to see what I was doing and was fairly impressed. Apparently, she had taken a few watercolor classes as a creative outlet a few years before, so she knew how difficult they are. She also knew that shiny poster board would be even worse. So she asked if I wanted to take art lessons. I didn't know I could do that outside of school, but it was exactly what I wanted. 
and my answer was an immediate yes. I had so much time drawing on my own before starting lessons. I don't want to deprive my daughter of that. So I held back as much as I could while she painted. My teacher, Joyce, also tried to hold back and only instruct when absolutely necessary. I saw that it was difficult for her to help someone so young. I experienced some of that here and with my other students. However, I wouldn't say that young students should be turned away. Rather, they should be taught in a different way. It's just the basics and practice. The job of a teacher is not to teach them how to do art, but how to enjoy art. Start to finish, stretching was not bad, pretty easy, right? Yeah, the stapling, the staplers, that was pretty easy as well. Mm -hmm. How did you enjoy the painting, wet on wet? Because you've never done that before. Pretty fun, actually. Yeah. It was a great process and everything. I tried to make it more cartoony. Well, my pointers then actually didn't help you. Yes, mine is cartoony style. Yours is like real life. Okay, let's make it as active as a picture. I do get a little uh, meticulous. Carried away. Carried away, meticulous. Wait, you call it what you want, all right? <laughs> is anything sore from this super laborious task? My shoulder is sore. Shoulder? Oh, it's my like, shoulder was yeah. sore the other it's day. Like, uh, oh my gosh, my shoulder. I need to put it down, but I shouldn't because I want to keep doing this. It's hard being an artist. Yeah. I hope you like this video. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment below, whatever you liked. See you in the next video. Bye! I, I say that. Thank you. All right, let me know what you thought about this style of video. My Be way. <laughs> you know what? Get out of my seat. Get, that's my spot. This is my... Come here. So let me know if you like this style of video. Uh, I want to keep making videos as fun for myself as possible so I don't feel like I'm getting burned out on it. So I want to make three styles of videos. The Go Pike, Go Paint on plein air. Commissions that I'm doing here in the studio. I will be doing a few videos with my kids. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. This is my channel. You okay? I keep telling you not to rock back and forth on those chairs. Shush. <laughs> Mistakes happen, okay? <laughs> I, I trip over my words. Words are hard. Okay. Shh. It's hot in this studio. I can sweat it out while I paint. I don't mind. What do you think our viewers should do? My viewers. <laughs>